What's going on, everybody? It's Trippy Cakes here. I'm still working on my studio situation, so you'll have to excuse the background noise again. I'm going to try and get that fixed ASAP. But I know it's been a little bit since I dropped the video. I've been, you know, working and playing this game, so I haven't really had enough time to focus on pushing out information and what I think and all that other kind of stuff. But one thing that I did want to talk about is recently they had did like this, I think it was a demonstration or something like that in Thailand where they started reviewing or not reviewing where they like kind of put out like a sneak peek of the new characters that are going to be coming out. And there's been a lot of negativity in the community. All right. So I, I sat here and I thought about it and I'm like, all right, so they want to create new characters, each representing a, a portion of Asia or, or I don't know if that was their goal or whatever. But that's what ended up happening. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about it and I'm looking at the people complaining like, is this a bad thing? Um, is, is it bad to have diversity? No, of course not. Nobody's going to say diversity is a bad thing. That's what Marvel was mainly about. Um, you know, whether you want to admit it or not, the whole point of these comic books is that everybody is so diverse and people are like, oh, they're just making up characters and now it's ruining the game and all this other kind of crap. Well, the same backlash happened when Luna Snow dropped. Everybody's like, who cares about a Korean pop star, blah, blah, blah. And now everybody's like riding her nutsack, I guess you could say. Or yeah, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that as a star agent, but that's what I'm going to say. I mean, that's just how it is, man. You know, you you say all this negative crap about characters before they come out. Me, the only time you're going to hear me say something negative about a character is if they drop and they're terrible. Especially if you like expect me to pay for it. And we don't know whether or not they're going to be free to play. If they're going to be new special missions or something like that. We don't know. We do not. So right now, I'm reserved. I'm okay with them creating characters or whatever. But if they're going to keep on doing this. And it's not like they've done it much. But if they're going to keep doing it. They need to update old characters. We have over 200. About 75 of them are in a good spot. Or too strong. And then the other 125 need some help. They really, really do. So, like I said, I don't have a problem with these characters. You guys shouldn't have a problem with these characters. Every year around this time, they drop, you know, homemade characters, I guess you could say. Or in-house characters. And it's not like they don't get the okay for Marvel to do this. It's not like they're just throwing stuff in there. They work with Marvel. Marvel actually makes comics about these characters usually. Or that's how it's been so far with the Agents of Atlas and everything like that. So expect comic books to come out from these characters. Um, you know, I understand that there are characters that we still want, like Cloak and Dagger, Mephisto, um, Sentry, all that other kind of stuff. But I think it's a little bit good to move away from that predictability of giving us what we want. The whole thing is when this game first came out, and I know a lot of you guys weren't playing, but I definitely was when, it, you know, we had agents of shield update drop i mean they, they're freaking awful they're they're terrible so like for them to go out of their way to create characters and stuff like that shows that they do kind of have some form of passion over the game um i think the changes in this patch were really good um you just kind of have to know where to shift your attention to and you'll still get things done yes there are things that they need to fix in this game but as far as adding you know in-house characters that's not a bad thing so you guys need to like get over yourselves and i've seen some real racist stuff being said too and i'm like you got a lot of nerve calling yourself a marvel fan and being racist because they wanted to add some asian characters you, you got to realize that one this is a company that is based out of south korea man it's, it's an asian game um you know it's just it's kind of sad but i'm okay with it like I said, as long as they don't suck and as long as I'm not having to fork over a whole lot of money or, you know, minimal money, like I'm okay with a bio sub or something like that. That's perfectly fine. I'm okay with using Shadowlands selectors and stuff like that. But, I mean, we got to not make this a bigger deal than it is. That's all there is to it. And you should be a little bit more accepting about what comes to this game because this game is ever changing if you compare it now to when it first came out man this game used to have like a small handful of characters and now people got so used to getting what they want all the time they forget to allow 
these game creators to actually create you're you're like kind of crapping on their art by being super negative about it before it drops i'm not saying you know be all 100 percent for it but let it come out and then when it's terrible after that if they're just crap characters by all means tear into them be like hey we're not paying for this anyway i i think i've ranted long enough it's been trippy cakes if you're new to the channel please do subscribe and uh because i'll be checking you out later Look forward to more videos. Peace.